Hey, how you doing? It's Sawyer. Is this the correct number for the CEO of Zenith Company? Yes, that would be me. Thanks for contacting me, Sawyer. You're the guy that works for that Arnica company, right? Thank you for giving me the time and opportunity to talk to you earlier today. It was a pleasure meeting you. I can understand why you were so happy to get to meet me. I'm going to be taken over as CEO of this company once my father retires. I thought that would be a good idea for me to start making connections with my company's business partners. Your father is a great and well-respected CEO. You're in a great position to learn from him. I hope that we can get along well in the future. Yeah, I hope so too. Still, I was a little bit surprised when I first met you. You weren't the kind of person I was expecting to meet today. Oh, really? What were you so surprised about? Was I doing something weird when we met? You weren't doing anything weird. I was just surprised that you were a woman. I thought that the CEO of our business partners would all be men. I just think that men are much more suited to be leaders. I personally wouldn't really want to listen to orders from a woman. Were you surprised that I'm a woman? Nowadays, many companies have female CEOs. Gender equality is widely promoted in today's society, and it shouldn't matter whether you're male or female. What truly matters is having the skills required to become a CEO. I think it's really weird to have a woman as a top of the company. I would understand if it were a beauty cosmetics or a female fashion company. Men should be the CEO of all other types of companies. We're much, much more suited to become leaders after all. I guess we have very different views on this topic. Would it be okay if I asked you what the problem of having a woman as a CEO is? It's clear, right? No man wants to take orders from a woman. I doubt women can be productive in a company. Are you sure you became CEO based on merit? I think you slept with the higher-ups to get promoted. The men in your company must be so desperate to engage with you. I'm sorry, but you've crossed the line. That's completely unacceptable. I strongly disagree with everything you just said. Shouldn't your company's CEO have emphasized treating me with respect? I'm shocked to hear such words from you. You're nothing like your father. I guess he did tell me to treat you with respect. I made sure to treat you well when we met earlier. I even paid for coffee. There's really no need to be showing you any respect now that we're acquaintances. Are you seriously saying that? I can't believe it. I think what you said to me was very offensive. Your father would be upset if he finds out about this. Stop being offended so easy. All I did was tell the truth. Did you really think that I would treat you like a princess the entire time? Your company isn't even that big. You should be the one showing respect to me. Without my company, your company wouldn't have any jobs at all. I'm sorry if I offended you. I probably said some things to you that I shouldn't have. I will be more careful with how I talk to you in the future. I really can't believe how arrogant you were being to me. I'm glad that you realized the huge mistake that you were making. Your company would probably go bankrupt if it wasn't for us. You really shouldn't be telling me what I can and what I can't say to you. You should never be talking back to me. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have talked back to you. I should never have accused you of offending me. Everything that you said was perfectly valid. If you're going to apologize, you never should have talked back to me like that in the first place. You really are such a pathetic person, changing your mind and opinion so easy. This is why women shouldn't become CEO. You're just so weak, can't even talk back to me. I'm very sorry. I hope that you would be kind enough to forgive me. This is how you should be interacting with me all the time. Your company is way below us. Treat me with lots of respect in the future. You are never going to talk back to me again. Although, I do think that it's pathetic how weak and obedient you are. Are you really going to let a young guy like me patronize you like this? It's really okay. I deserve everything that you say to me. What happened to your arrogance earlier? How boring. You're not even able to fight back. All you can do is say sorry. You're so pathetic that I'm starting to feel a little sorry for you. I guess I'll let you off the hook this time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your kindness. I'll be careful of what I say to you in the future. Yeah, sounds good. I'm glad you've learned your lesson. I'll contact you again in the near future. I hope that we can get along well in the future. You know the advert that we asked you to prepare for us, right? I think the original deadline was in one month's time. Well, there's been a sudden change of plans. I'm going to need it completed by next week. The deadline is for next Tuesday. 
Wait, what did you say? That's a little out of nowhere, isn't it? We've barely started working on that project, as the deadline was meant to be late next month. Are you serious about what you just said? Of course I'm serious. I just told you that I'm going to need the advert by next week. It's not that difficult to understand, is it? Yes, I understand what you meant. I was just hoping that you would be able to explain to me why the deadline was moved forward by more than three weeks. Why is there a sudden change in the schedule? Things like this happen from time to time. You need to learn to adapt to these situations. That's not really an explanation of why the deadline is being moved forward. To be completely honest with you, we changed the deadline for this around two weeks ago. I just completely forgot to tell you about it. Oh, that's the reason why. I think it's going to be difficult for us to finish the advert in just one week. We need a couple of weeks notice at least. We have a lot of other jobs and contracts that need to be completed as well. What you're asking us to do is completely unrealistic. I think the earliest we can get it done would be in three weeks time. Well, that is not acceptable. I need it completed by next week. Do you think we care about the other jobs that your company has to do? Cancel all the other projects and jobs if you need to. Your company would be hopeless without my company. Don't forget that. You guys need to find a way to get this project we assigned to you completed by next Tuesday. If it isn't completed, there are going to be huge consequences. I'm sorry, but I don't think we can get it done in one week. It's just not feasible. Also, I don't appreciate being threatened by consequences. We don't care about the other jobs that your company has. I really can't believe that you're talking back to me about this. If you're not careful, I'm going to terminate the contract between our companies immediately. Your company will no longer receive any jobs or projects from us if that happens. Terminate our contract? Are you really serious about that? I think that would be a bad idea. Of course I'm serious. We're doing you a huge favor by contracting your company. We don't need you guys as business partners if you can't complete the jobs we assign you. We can always find another company to contract and give our projects to. I get what you're saying. But that amount of work in just one week is not feasible. Even one month is still pushing it. You really are starting to annoy me. Stop talking back to me so much. Just tell me that you guys will have the work completed in one week. That's all I want to hear from you. Fine. We will do as you requested and try to get everything done in one week. We will prioritize all of our available manpower on getting the advert completed. However, I am going to increase the fee by 30%. Wait, what did you just say? Extra money? That is definitely not going to happen. We've already signed the contract. I expect you guys to move the deadline forward without any change in price. It's perfectly normal to increase the price as you're demanding the deadline to be moved forward by three weeks. You should be grateful that I'm even accepting the ridiculous request that you just made to us. Why should I be grateful to you? I can always just ask another company to get this project done. I'm going to terminate our contract if you're not careful. So you're blackmailing us now. You're going to terminate our contract if we don't agree to your demands. Are you not able to read or something? Why do you have to keep on making me repeat myself? You're such a huge idiot. Another reason why I hate female CEOs. I am sorry for being such a huge idiot. I guess we will agree to all of your requests and get everything completed by next week. Please make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. How dare you talk to me like this? You're just a woman. You shouldn't even be the CEO of a company. It really makes me angry getting told what to do by a woman. I really can't believe that you're looking down on me because of my gender. We're not in the 1990s anymore. Women and men have equal rights these days. You shouldn't forget that my company is doing you guys a huge favor by accepting your ridiculous request without increasing the fee. You really need to shut your mouth. Stop talking back to me like this. We're the ones doing you a favor by giving you this job in the first place. If you disrespect me one more time, I'm terminating this contract. Please, don't terminate our contract. I'm sorry for offending you. It would be bad for both of our companies if the contract is terminated. I really don't understand why you talk back to me for so long. Thanks for wasting so much of my precious time. My time is actually valuable, unlike your time. That is very true. I should have just agreed to your request from the very beginning. You really need to start learning from your own mistakes. 
I'm surprised that someone like you managed to become the CEO. The rest of your company must be so pathetic as well. I am very sorry for being such an underwhelming CEO. I'll make sure that I don't repeat the same mistakes in the future. You better actually mean it this time. I'm surprised that your company still hasn't gone bankrupt yet. I will do my absolute best to make sure that it doesn't fail. You really need to remember the position that your company is in. My company is doing you guys a huge favor. You guys are way below us. We're not the kind of people you can be talking back to. I expect you guys to accept any jobs or requests that we ask you. If you ever disrespect me or my company ever again, I'm really going to terminate the contract. Make sure you keep that in mind. I've heard that you guys contracted another company to do the jobs that my company was doing for you. How could you betray my company like this? Our companies have been business partners for a very long time now. Also, you gave my company a ridiculous deadline for the last project and didn't even pay us the full amount we agreed on. So you've heard about that. I had to do it because the other company was so much cheaper. We're trying to reduce our company's expenses where possible. So you've decided not to use our company anymore to reduce your expenses. You didn't even have the decency to contact us about it. That's the kind of thing you need to be telling me as soon as it's decided. To be completely honest, it wasn't just to reduce our company's expenses. I thought it would be better if we were no longer business partners with your company. I really didn't like the way you talked back to me in our past conversations. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I thought there would be further problems in the future if we kept on doing business with an idiot like you. You really got on my nerves the last time we talked. So you're doing this because of personal reasons? That's unprofessional. It's for the best interests of my company. I think it's a terrible idea to do any business with a company that has a female CEO. Let me tell you some advice as a future CEO. I would step down from your position and just become a regular employee. Give your current position to a man and go back to being a regular employee. You should really listen to the advice that I just gave you. If you don't, I'm really going to officially terminate the contract between our companies. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be listening to any of your advice. I was being very patient with you because you're the son of someone that I respect very much. My company has been business partners with your father's company for over 20 years now. I really didn't think that you'd be stupid enough to do what you did. I think I've had enough of being patient with you. I don't feel like trying to help you out at all now. If you terminate the contract between our companies, you're really going to regret it. What are you talking about? You changed your attitude all of a sudden? I didn't tell you any lies at all. I actually contacted the CEO of your company a little earlier. He's actually heading over to meet me right now. Wait, what? Why would my father be heading over to your company? He hasn't told me anything about it. I've already told him about the conversation that we had in the past few months. Unlike you, your father is very smart and respectful. He probably had no time to contact you as he realized how bad the situation has become. It sounded like he was in a huge rush to come and meet me. There should be no reason for my father to be in a rush to meet someone like you. So you haven't heard anything from him then? I guess I'll tell you how badly you've messed up. You know the Elysian Corporation, right? They're your company's largest business partner. Well, the Elysian Corporation is owned by my grandfather. My company acts as a form of support for the Elysian Corporation. And that's why we have some contracts with your company. Wait, what? Your grandfather owns the Elysian Co Corporation? So, do you finally understand what's happening? Yes, I guess so. The majority of my company's business is only made possible due to the Elysian Corporation being our business partner. They give us pretty much all of our jobs and contracts. Your company helps out the Elysian Corporation in many ways, and that's why my company had to set up many contracts with you guys. I was foolish enough to try and terminate our contract with you. That's what's happening, right? Yes, that's pretty much correct. I'm glad that you finally understand what you've been doing. But why doesn't the Elysian Corporation just contract with you guys directly? Why does our company have to be in the middle of you guys? 
My grandfather and your father were long-time business partners before I joined my company. He holds me in high regard and intending to assign all the jobs your company handles to mine. However, he discovered that your father's company would face bankruptcy if he did so. Hence, he decided to keep giving contracts to your company and enlist mine for specific tasks when required. Thus, my company has contracts with yours. So, our company is only receiving jobs from your grandfather's company due to his kindness? Yes, pretty much. If it weren't for my grandfather's kindness, your company probably wouldn't exist right now. So that means your grandfather would be very angry if we terminated the contracts with your company and gave the jobs to some other cheaper companies. What you did probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. My grandfather doesn't get angry very often, but once he gets angry, it can be very hard to make him forgive you. He's going to terminate all contracts with your company and give them to my company instead. I am so sorry for everything that I did. I'm going to immediately write up another contract so that we can be business partners again. I'm also going to start heading over to your company so that I can apologize to you directly. There's really no need for you to come all the way here. Your father has just arrived, so I'll be talking to him about the future of our two companies. Wait, please, hold on. You have to let me come and apologize. Otherwise, my father is going to be so furious at me. Sorry, but that has nothing to do with me, so I don't care. However, I have done business with the O'Connor company for over 20 years now. So I have no intention of taking all the contracts and jobs from you guys. I'll brush all this off as a mistake that a dumb and young employee made. Wait, really? You would do that for me? Thank you so much. I really don't know what to say. You're such a lifesaver. We've come to a conclusion about what's going to happen from now on. Your father and I decided to contact my grandfather while having our discussion. We ended up going all the way to Elysian Corporation so that the three of us could talk together. It took a lot of effort to finally convince my grandfather. Convince him about what? It was difficult to convince him to forgive the Arcana Company. He was absolutely furious about the way that you treated me. He kept on saying that he would never forgive the Arcana Company or give them any jobs or contracts. Wait, what? I had no idea that he would be that angry. But you guys managed to convince him to forgive me, right? My company is still going to get jobs and contracts assigned to us, right? Yeah, we did manage to finally convince him to do that. Thank you so much for convincing him. I'm also very sorry for all the trouble I caused you. I did tell you that I would continue to leave some jobs for the Akana company. I didn't want to go back on my words after all. Thank you so, so much. I have no idea how I should repay you for everything that you've done for me. I didn't do this for your sake at all. There are still some very important things that I have to tell you. You are to leave the Akarna company immediately. You will never be allowed to work for them again. Wait, what? Are you serious? Why do I have to be fired from my father's company? I promise to leave some jobs for the company, not you personally. I have no intention of forgiving you for what you said to me. The insults you called me and the way you treated my company was completely unacceptable. My grandfather decided to forgive the Akarna company, but he did not forgive you personally. He told your father that the Akana company would only receive jobs and contracts for him if you were fired immediately. Your father agreed with him immediately and decided to fire you on the spot. I can't believe that my father would agree to that. Are you really telling the truth? I find it hard to believe. I will admit that your father tried to ask for your forgiveness from my grandfather, but he was adamant that he wasn't going to change his mind. That's why your father had to give up on you. He couldn't risk the entire company just for you. I can't afford to lose my job right now. I was meant to become the next CEO. Would it be okay if I went to apologize to your grandfather in person? Maybe he'll even forgive me if I really beg him. I don't recommend that at all. We finally managed to solve the situation and calm down my grandfather after a long discussion. If you show up in front of him, he's going to become furious again. If that happens, I have no idea how to calm him down. That would really be the end for your father's company if that happens. I can't let that happen either. Is there nothing that I can do about this then? Not really. I think that you completely deserve to get fired for the way that you treated me. I really regret the way I treated you. Please, tell me if there's a way I can fix this. I'll do anything to make you and your grandfather forgive me. I guess there might be one way you can fix this situation. Thank you so much. Please tell me what it is. My grandfather is a very old-fashioned man. He might forgive you if you show how sorry you are. 
What does that even mean? Well, let's see. Maybe you can clean both my company and my grandfather's company every single day. I think that would be one way to win back some trust and respect from him. Wait, what? Why should I clean it all? Is there any other way that I can show I'm sorry? How come? Is there a problem with what I just suggested to you? Well, both the companies are located in the middle of the city and there's a lot of employees. I really don't want to be seen by anyone when I'm cleaning. I'm the son of a CEO after all. It would be a huge embarrassment to me and my family if I get seen cleaning. Are you seriously going to make a polemic excuse like that? I was kind enough to give you a way out of the mess that you got yourself into. If you don't want to clean, then that's fine by me. My grandfather definitely won't be forgiving you. You're going to have to find a job at some other company. Say goodbye to your future as a CEO. Wait, hold on a minute. I'll do as you say. I don't want to get fired from this company. I'll become a cleaner for both you and your grandfather's company for a little while. I told you earlier that my grandfather is a very stubborn person. He's not going to forgive you for a long time. You're going to have to keep cleaning for months and months until he even thinks about it. If I were you, I would plan on cleaning every single day for at least an entire year. Wait, what? Did you just say an entire year? Every single day? That's such a ridiculous thing to ask from me. I think you asking me to move forward the deadline for our project by three weeks was even more ridiculous. I'm not forcing you to do anything. You really don't have to do it if you don't want to. All that's going to happen is you getting fired from your job. That's really no big deal for me. It might not be for you, but it is to me. I've decided that I will clean both of your companies for a year. I would love to have the opportunity to make up for the terrible things I did to you and your company. Okay, well that's great to hear. Also, send my grandfather a message so that he knows you're going to come to clean his company. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I can't promise you that he's going to definitely forgive you, even if you clean our companies for an entire year. Even I can't understand what he's thinking sometimes. Your entire year's worth of effort might end up being a complete waste. We won't know until next year, I guess. Well, best of luck. Looks like you have a wonderful year waiting for you. You can borrow all the cleaning gear that's stored at my company when you come. I'll even buy you a brand new broom so that you can sweep the front entrance every single day. Thank you. I'll do my best. Saya began cleaning for both companies the next day, surprising me with his promptness and thoroughness. I didn't expect him to stay as a cleaner for even a day, but he seemed determined to keep his job at his father's company. However, after about two weeks, Sawyer started slacking off, which greatly annoyed my grandfather. After three weeks, my grandfather couldn't tolerate it anymore, and he shouted at Sawyer, telling him to never return. It was unfortunate because we had agreed to forgive Sawyer if he had cleaned for just two months, not a whole year. On the bright side, without Sawyer at the Akana Company, my mental state has improved significantly. I no longer face insults for being a woman, and can finally communicate with someone who respects me.